Hi, I'm Navid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how you can do this. So there is a time that your player want to move and want to jump and we did both of them in last video how you can properly do that the right way, right? And now I want to show you the this run animation how you can do that properly so without any further ado let's begin you remember from last video we did our platformer game in the right way you can see it in here in input check function we just check inputs in movement we just apply movement and in apply gravity we just apply gravity and in this switch case that is our state machine we set the animation and uh, you see how uh, easy to understand it if you didn't watch my last videos about this platformer game please watch it it's in uh, the platformer game for game maker playlist and you can watch it one by one from how you can uh, import a sprite from a sprites or a sprite from a sprite sheet i did explain to you how you can import them properly and now we want to apply the running state okay so i want to show you if you did write your code this way how easy you can have whatever animation you want easily and uh, like run like a slide like um uh, sitting down or whatever it will be much easier to do it just whatever you want this way it will be more readable and easy to understand and easy to develop it okay so no for running first of all we should check inputs so if the player hold shift they can run okay so in if you had middle mouse on input check in here you will go to input check in our script player in here and in here what we want to check is key shift okay and i want to say keyboard check wk or uh virtual keyboard shift right or whatever button you want so we are done with this input check we don't need to do anything with our input check function okay so the next thing that we should do is in the movement okay so have the middle mouse on it in the movement function in here you see at the top it check horizontal speed in here and it use the walk speed of the player and multiply it by the move and in, and in input check function you see how we did calculate that move that is too easy right so in here what we want to check we want to check if he shift if key shift let's just copy and paste this and instead of this walk speed we need run speed okay so let's just add that to player values so let's just go here to create and in here you see player values all the player values are here walk speed jump speed and no we want to have run speed and i want it to be like 20 okay or whatever you want so now we have run speed in our player values and in here instead of this walk speed we say run speed uh, if they had shift on their keyboard they will be able to run so let's just play it to see if it's work correctly or not so right now it's just walking and it's no uh, running but you see the animation is not right so we didn't do anything wrong we just finished with this movement what we should do now we should go to a states okay so we in here we have a stand state jumping falling and walk and no we want to run a state as well run okay so just add that in here and um, let's just go here and uh, create a, a state function for that so let's just copy this fall state in here paste it one more time in here and call it run a state function and let's just get rid of all of these codes in here and now we have the function for run state okay let's just collapse this fall state and again go back to our step function in here and add that to here as well so let's just copy this because we have new state right so again instead of this falling we need run state in here and again the function of that run state is run state function and now we are done with the step and create function no we are we will write code for this run state function if you don't know what i'm talking about this is the right way to do platformer or any game in game maker this is the right way uh, in unity if you have worked with that all of this is ready for you and you can have that in their in one of their panel but in game maker we should create this switch case and a state machine and it will make our life very easier uh, 
when our game get much bigger than uh, just a platformer game like 10 millions of codes okay you should do it this way so you don't confuse yourself after one year of developing your game okay in run state first thing to do we should set the sprite index to run okay equal to spr layer run okay first of all we should do that next we should change when we are in the run state and we we uh, stop moving we should go back to um a standard state or idle state okay so we say if hsp is equal to zero it should player state should go back to player states dot stand or idle okay so that's first thing to do when hsp is zero it should go back to idle animation okay so it shouldn't run anymore it shouldn't show the run animation anymore okay in this run state player can jump right so we check if the vertical speed is less than zero so the player is jumping so the vertical speed when it's is less than zero it means it's going up so it's jumping and for the falling, we have that in our state machine uh, in, la in last videos, and it worked correctly. That's the beauty of a state machine, right? So know that the vertical speed is less than zero. We should change the player state to player states dot jumping. Okay, I did forgot to add this D in here. It is HSPD. So, so what else we should do? We should change the scale like we did in all of these functions. So let's just copy and paste all of this code that is just checking if horizontal speed is greater than zero so it, it is going to the right and the scale uh, image x scale should be positive and if we if the horizontal speed is less than zero it should it is going to the left so image x scale should be negative right so let's just copy and paste this at the bottom of our run state function so where the player should go to this run state okay so it should go to run state when it's walking or when it's in a stand state or idle state okay so let's just do that for a stand state in here we check if hspd is equal to walk speed or uh, it it uh, it was equal to minus walk speed it should go to walk state okay so like this let's just copy and paste this in here we check hspd for the run speed now okay so it's equal run speed or minus run speed it should go to run state okay so we have this here and we should have this in our walk state because uh when player is walking it can run and when it's idle it can run as well okay so let's just copy and paste this in walk state as well so let's just add it up here and no let's just run it we have the player player can walk player can jump and player can run okay okay and everything is working fine and if you want to add any other state or a feature in your game it's too easy to do that no if you do it in old-fashioned way it will get complicated very fast okay so in here we just have this uh, some line of code in a step function and we all know what input check is doing we all know what movement is doing we all know what these states are doing because we can analyze each one of them separately and we don't need commenting anything because now everything is self-explanatory right so that's how you can do this um that's the right way to do your games in game maker with the state machine in unity you had this by default but in game maker you should create this for yourself in and believe me when your game is like um 10 million of codes line you should have it like this because if you have your game big enough that has like 1 million line of code uh, you can develop it easily of course you can but it will be a headache for you so this is the right way to do it thank you very much for watching it's my honor to have you at the end of this video thank you very much if you want to help me please hit that like button and if you like please hit that subscribe button as well thank you very much for watching bye